Trying to add what's already new territory. Putting green on the float in McCovey. Barry Bonds up. Holla! In the first inning, takes Dennis Springer's knuckleball out. 73 homers this year. One homer every 6.5 at-bats. Another record. Bottom three next at-bat for Bonds. Marvin Bernard on second. Can I get a little bit? Bernard tries to score from second, but he will be thrown out by Gary Sheffield. Nice arm in a collision at home plate. Barry Bonds, 49 singles, 32 doubles, two triples, 73 homers. Bottom seven, pinch hitter Eric Davis tips his hat. Retiring after 17 years in the big, 17 years, 282 career homers, but he flies out to Sean Green in his last at bat. Bottom eight, two on Giants. Terry Mulholland comes in to face Bonds. Bonds last at bat of the season. Barry. So what he flies out. A slugging percentage of 863, easily wiping out Babe Ruth's 847, the mark that Ruth had back in 1920. Unbelievable, crazy year for Barry Bonds. Giants win the game 2-1. Besides the home runs, Bonds' other numbers are just mind-boggling. A 328 batting average, a career-high 137 RBI, an on-base percentage of 515, best in the National League since John McGraw's 547 way back in 1900. All Barry, all the time. After the game, California says this is Tony Gwynn Day. Ricky looking for one more hit to reach 3,000. Gwynn throws out the ceremonial first pitch to Ricky Henderson. Bottom one, Ricky's first at bat, facing John Thompson, who had give, given up a couple of hits to Henderson in Colorado. Thompson would later say after the game he felt a little weird if Henderson didn't get number 3,000. He does. It's a double, and the Padres come out to congratulate the second oldest player in history to reach 3,000 hits, the 42-year-old Henderson. Ricky receives a plaque commemorating Hit number 3,000. Ricky says he wants to come back and play next year, but the Padres looking for youth movement. Dave Winfield, part of the Board of Governors, embracing him. And then Ricky goes out to left, and Bruce Bochy says, let's give you a standing O. Ricky goes to coach third, bottom of the ninth, Tony Gwynn's final at bat. Well, not the way we scripted it. Tony Gwynn. Sounds like he didn't want to throw him out, you know? <laughs> of all the members of the 3,000 hit club, only Paul Wainer struck out fewer times. Gwynn struck out just 434 times in over 9,200 at bats. He leaves the game in style with a Harley. And Tony saying thanks to all the fans. Highest batting average among all active players. An emotional farewell for Tony Gwynn. The Rockies, oh, by the way, won the game thanks to five homers, two by Juan Uribe. Padres chipped in with four errors. Thompson, who said it would be great to be the answer to a trivia question, struck out a career high en route to his fourth win. Gwynn leaves the game with eight batting titles and the 17th most hits in baseball history. But it was Ricky's day as well. When the ball fell in for a base hit, and like you said, I was around at first and about midway, I really wanted to stop and just run out there and get the ball. I didn't want to go to second base. I've been out. <laughs> but I decided to go to second base. It feels just about like I thought it would. I'd be tired at the end of the day. I'd be emotionally drained, which I am. And uh, um, But like I said, I'm at peace. I'm at peace with the decision that I've made. And it's time to move on. It's time to close the close the page on that chapter and open up the next one and next one starts tomorrow tony moving on to be the baseball coach at his alma mater san diego state henderson and gwen first set of teammates to each have 3,000 hits since the 1995 indians with eddie murray and dave winfield the only other team to have more than one member the 1927-28 athletics who in 1928 had the only three teammates with 3,000 hits playing in the same lineup, Ty Cobb, Eddie Collins, and Trish Speaker. The story, in the central, it's all tied up. They're playing to, well, perhaps avoid Arizona. Astros and Cardinals, and St. Louis already up one zip. That wouldn't last. Richard Hidalgo, a two-run ding-dong. Houston goes up by a score of two to one. Uh-oh. Go ahead. Moisture. Glove work blew it for Houston on Saturday. They brought the leather on Sunday. Great play by Alou. Daryl Kyle, the former Astro. This has got trouble written all over it. <laughs> nice play, Fernando Vina. That ball is squibbing at him, too. A very difficult play. Still 2-1, six inning. Look at Lance Berkman. He's been doing it all year. Dumps one in front of Edmonds. It looks as if he didn't think Bagwell was going to try to score. He does. 
And just like that, it's a two-run cushion. Two batters later. Ooh, Vinny Castilla. This is a great play. Matheny, one out, throw down a second. Tagged out, double play. Phenomenal play by the catcher. Let's not forget the injury to the Cardinal catcher last year going into the postseason. And that hurt them in the postseason big time. Great play, heads up, and knowing the situation. But Vinny slapping the tag down. That's key because you're not going to get a force play. Beautiful. Back-to-back -back singles, a threat. Two men down. Craig Paquette, Vinny Castilla. Foul, fair, great play to end the inning. It's called fair. Well, it's a great read because the reaction time's not very long there. You've got to go ahead and make a decision. Back Look fight. out for Mr. Bagwell. That's he's getting a, hot. That's an 0-2 pitch, HR. Dumps it in the center. He's got 39 this season, and Houston celebrates a victory. They clinch the National League Central. They get home field advantage against the Atlanta Braves, which is huge. The Cardinals go to Arizona Tuesday in the first round. couple back about this club, Bobby Valentine didn't let them quit. The players didn't quit, and, and they responded to uh, the tragedies of September 11th better than any club out there. No doubt. They were in the World Series last year. Will this team be in the World Series this year? Seattle sitting with 116 victories. One more. No one will have ever won more games in a single season. Ichiro mm. off the wall. Well, he's on second. He's not probably going to stay there long, and he's chasing somebody's stolen base record. Yeah, he had, to, he had to steal a few today to get to 60. That's number 56, and yes, 60 was my record. HR Puff. Cameron Yards trouble. So Ichiro double, steals third, and then gets plated. Thanks to that Mike Cameron shot down the line, Seattle is up 1-0 over Texas. Meantime, Rafael Palmero. Well, you mentioned Gonzalez, and he get lost. This guy has been a blip on the radar screen. 47 home runs. <laughs> Matching a career high. I'll take that ball. Oh, okay. That's 123 RBI ball. And oh, that's they're throwing the fake one out there. You can't do that. He's keeping them all. It's back on the field. You got a lot of 15 seconds of fame right there. Harold, postseason, they may need this guy off the bench. You may need him in the outfield. Yeah, you're going to see Jay Buhner make the roster. And he's doing some damage. Yeah. Jeff Nelson came in, put a few pitches over the plate, and won to the very dangerous Palmero. That run made it 4-3. Alex Rodriguez was also on base. He had been walked and ultimately got stranded. But the Mariners, with their 116 victories, deserved huge commendation. A phenomenal season. They will, of course, be at home to open up the postseason. They tie the Major League record set by the 1906 Cubs. No Martinez acted as the Yankee manager for the last game of the season, bringing out that lineup card. Well, they, Paul, Paul O'Neill did it last year, the last game of the season. He lost, so we'll see how Tino does. Moose! Down goes Aubrey Huff. Bottom four, Brent Abernathy. No parking in the visitor spot. No unloading. Leave the luggage where it is. Steve Cox swinging a miss. Difficult managing assignment having Mussina throwing for you. Exactly. In oh. El Duque. Oh. Little last look before the postseason. Break it down, HR. This is what you do best. Well, they had to find out if he was healthy. And the main thing they're looking for is that control. Right there, he'll go up and down. Remember, now, when he is on, he will act like he's throwing darts, hitting all kinds of corners. And that's really what they looked at. And the main thing on top of that was, was there any pain? That we'll find out tomorrow. But he looks sharp. You saw some heat, some off-speed stuff. Clay Bellinger. Jesus Colome. Ding dong. one nothing Yanks. Clay Bellinger's fifth. Lightning. Bottom eight. El Duque still dealing. Jared Sandberg is chasing. Four innings, four Ks, one hit, no earned runs. I think we'll see him in the postseason. The exact same line of Mike Musino. And it's all over. Rivera comes in. <laughs> Tito, congratulations. 1-0 as a manager. Barney Fife, back to your little space. One zip. The Yanks take care of the Rays. HR, 95 victories for Joe Torre. Indians, Jays. His final tune-up. Exactly. CC Sabathia looking like a man who's possessed. Now he has been incredible for them. What, what a jewel that's come through the farm system. Breaking ball. Another one. Delgado. Good break. He had five Ks in five innings. Top five, down one zip. Russell Brannion. Respect the Bing. Oh, my word. That's upper deck. His 20th. Pretty good weapon off the bench. After a Milton Bradley double, Eddie Tobin comes up. He always does after a Milton Bradley double. It's part of the game. Indians go up two to one as Bradley comes in to score. And it's up the line. 
Tony Fernandez pinch hitting. Final game of the Sky Dome. Hats off. Tony Fernandez. Will Cordero. He'll do it in his prime. One of the greatest. Yes, indeed. Finishes off his 17 year career. You couldn't get him out, and he caught everything. John Rocker on the face. Delgado filthy. Important for John Rocker. Picks up his fourth save. Pitched well out of the bullpen. They got a very good start from Sabathia. One earned. Welcome back. Baseball tonight. The Arizona Diamondbacks wrapping up against the Milwaukee Brewers. Bob Bradley and company. Been a very good first season for him. Fourth inning, they leave Gonzalez in, chasing 200 hits and 100 extra base hits. Bada bing! You know, he's gotten lost in the shuffle the last couple of weeks. Incredible season, Louis. Congratulations. No doubt. 57 home runs to the fourth inning. The Diamondback defense can't do this in the post. Well, you want to get him out the last game of the year, make it now. Greg Colburn, another one. Defense allowed the inning to continue 4-2. Brewers down later that inning, 7-4. Russell Brannion's a great home run hitter. How about Richie Section? And they both came from the Tribe organization. The short swing. Uh, Richie, phenomenal year. His 45th, his 100th extra base hit of the year. Wow. It's amazing. See. Prior to this year, we had 15 guys with 100 extra base hits on this magical mystery tour and Pat Burrell. Well, the Phillies had a great year, Carl. I mean, to, to finish where they were came, coming from last season, a lot of Philly fans ought to be pretty proud of their club. 27th home run of the year for Burrell. Adam Dunn gets frozen there. Miller's down swinging. Randy Wolf looked good. He can't eat on the day. Top eight, Phillies up four zip. Johnny Estrada facing Scott Sullivan. Estrada came up with a huge home run earlier this year and that one goes high off the wall. He'd reach on a double. You tend to forget because of Estrada's heroics that Mike Lieberthal got hurt and was lost for the season. Well, that's a great effort, oh. and that hurts. It does. But Brady Clark, get back up. Win got it. Stays in. Closing it out, Joseph Mesa. They're loaded with two down. And they got D.T. Cromer to bounce out. And you're right. Probably the, the biggest surprise as far as success this season in baseball, the Philadelphia Phillies. 86 victories. Remember, that's what the Yankees had last year, plus one. They had 80. And the Pirates, Sosa, on base and moving. Roosevelt Brown, Rob McCall. Oh, that's a web gem. Still 2-1 Cubs. Pirates still down, two men on. Chad Hermanson. We need some big things out of Chad next year. Second of the year, three-run shot to left. It's been a great September for him, though. He's really restored a lot of confidence in his ability to play at the big league level. No way. No way. Spoonie Barger, his 64th for Sammy Sosa this season. Harold, he's averaged over 60, over 60 home runs for the past four years. This is an, this is an unprecedented four-year run.